So, welcome everybody back to Home Harbor. Yeah, I know you didn't saw it coming, neither did I. But yeah, I'm back. So, um, I'm going to continue with videos, but uh, it's going to be um, more photos. Then I will jump in, explain to you, show it to you difficult parts. But I will explain you everything with the pictures, with the photos. And um, so guys, let's start. I did some job. Our last video was chain plates. After the chain plates, I did some job. I already did the bowsprit. I already did the mizzenmast. But now we're going to speak about all of this. And we will start from the deck parts. All those things that I did, we will speak about them. I will show you the pictures. I will explain you what I did. Then we go to the anchors. Then go to the bowsprit talk a little bit about the rigging I will show you some maybe useful stuff and then the musts so let's start so guys by the plan pin rack I already did I know this is for you piece of cake not a big problem but instead of those columns I just give pieces of wood the same thing I did in the front uh, at the bow I give the wood instead of those columns now let's move forward to this oven now i customized it a little bit i did it in my own way and i really like it so guys those parts from both sides i just took them off i sanded all of it i did the same thing uh, i did those these parts these gratings right here like it is in the instructions then the chimneys I make the holes inside. I will show you right now everything. I did the holes inside so it will be more realistic. And then I just uh, change this part right here. I cut pieces from the wood, the same diameter. I put them in the top, make the handles and give some more handles around it. So now I will show you. In my way, uh, it looks more, for me, it looks more realistic. And I just enjoy the way how it looks. So here we go, guys. I did everything like it is in instructions. Just take those parts from uh, the sides, sand it everything down, give more, sorry, uh, paint it all black. Chimneys have holes, so they look more realistic, more realistic than the handles, right? I did those handles, then that part right here that I told you, I customized it to circles with two handles. I like it more like this and I really enjoy the way how it looks. By the way, just put a little bit of the rope, the way how we did in Pilates, the rigging, just tape, then you put uh, your wire, you put tape like this, then you put your rope around put a little bit of the glue, uh, I use white glue. Then when it's dry, I just take it off and I glue it on the ship. Uh, now guys, let's move it forward to this part right here. Uh, what I did change for those entrance, we will speak later, I will show you pictures how I did it. But right here, it's everything very simple. You put the mechanism together, I paint it all black. Then I started, I showed it to you a bunch of times how I did the dry brush effect. I started to apply the brown color so it will be more darker because, well, this is the way I do. Then I changed the rope and exchanged the rope for the chain. I did the holes right here. There's two holes. They're not even attached. You can take them off. Then you can put them back. So, uh, I like more the chain. So now guys, uh, it have the chain, have the bell right here. I paint it all the same. Only the bell, I give a little bit bronze effect. Uh, now guys, I will show you the pictures of the entrance and then we will speak with you. I will show you how they look on the ship.
And so guys, those engines I customized again a little bit. Um, I did. I didn't use the custom windows. I just give from inside. You saw in the pictures. I give from inside those pieces that imitate glass. I'm pretty glad with the result. Then the doors I have. I always told you before to don't uh, throw away leftovers from your other ships it happened that i had uh, those parts right here from candelaria and i used them uh, for these doors as usual i painted all black i sent it down and then i didn't use walnut stain for the first time i used sapely stain from okra and it looks for me just perfect and beautiful i like a lot that color and i will use it in my next uh, build now let's go in the front the smaller one is basically the same i did the handle from the wire just no windows and that's it guys um, the anchors i already put the anchors let's change the camera so the anchors if you follow me on instagram you saw how i did the anchors uh, here i did a little bit of a mistake because if i will put it like this so this part will be tense this wire uh, this rope this one the block goes a little bit to the side so i need to remake it i need to do it more like this <clears throat> so i will cut so we'll cut this rope and do it all over again now uh, the part of the wood i think for you is very simple there is nothing special to do uh, just pay attention to the instructions i follow instruction i didn't change uh, almost anything right here and uh, i will take it off right here if you can see in the instructions you just attach the block to the anchor well it's not really right because how you're going to release uh, the anchor so i took the eye bolt i cut the piece then i just put it inside the block so i will have that uh, hook to put the anchor on the top of it right so it's like this now the painting of the anchor <clears throat> i used i prime it then i paint it all black then this like uh, old stuff rusty stuff i just basically put a little bit of the varnish then i use the black sand i have it like this but also you can use salt also work very nice uh, and then I started to paint it. I use silver color, uh, gray color. I use bronze, I use green. Just try to mix them up so it will have this look. So guys, you saw the pictures. Not very, count not very hard to do. Just try to do experiment, improvise. In this build, I improvise a lot. Now, the bow, I told you, I don't know how I'm going to do the bow because these parts right here, uh, yeah, I cheat because these parts are leftovers from Candelaria. Uh, I break them uh, before when I was building Candelaria. I break them, they was much longer, but I leave them and I thought maybe they have some purpose and they did. Uh, so guys, I bend them how it is it's just basically you put in the hot water put around the glass and with strong clippers like this uh, you fix them until they dry and take this shape uh, my suggestion for you you have a lot of wood you have uh, two by three wood three by three wood you can do the same you can do just with two parts don't forget to send down in the front so it attached to the bow very nicely 
uh, or you can just try uh, if you didn't throw away the plywood you can find the plywood three millimeter four millimeter and try to cut the part that look like this if i didn't have this leftovers i will do the same i will cut it from the plywood and we'll try to do this because the wire didn't look good in this uh, ship and i just didn't like it so this was my solution then i drilled the hole i don't know if i can show you like this if it will focus i drilled the hole beneath you can see right here i drilled the hole so i can attach the bowsprit to the keel right so guys this part right here basically is done i didn't do the pin racks right here as i told you because this is just not enough of space and i thought if i will not do it here do it here and here is not going to be well not doesn't have a lot of logic so i just leave it like it is in instructions so we're going to attach our rigging to the uh, eye bolt now guys after attaching uh, by the way just a second so guys uh, you start uh, the rigging of this block to attach to the anchor you started from this eye bolt and then you go all of the rigging and let's go to the deck and finished right here so i make the rope that look like this to make the ending of the rope logical ending of the rope so it looks like this and i like it a lot uh, so this is basically all that i did also i give here a rope just as a decor you can see it's those small pieces make a lot of sense uh, i make already this uh, support for the lifeboat also what i wanted to say to you it's very important uh don't make those you see the pieces right here i already took, took them off i already had them i did them they are right here and um, i'm going to change them i will show you when the time comes i will show you uh, how i change it but if you will go with the wooden parts they look awesome really awesome I want to change it because well it's just me I like to change stuff uh, don't put them before you will finish all the rigging because it's going to be every time in your way of doing the rigging you will punch it you will break it you will crack it this part right here like lifeboat do and last uh, do the last because it's going to be on your way of doing the rig so the live boats and support for the live boats is the last thing that we're going to do and uh, now let's move forward to the bowsprit i will speak with you a little bit about the bowsprit and then we'll show you maybe some tricks that will help you with the rigging Now guys, the bowsprit bow rigging, it's pretty simple, it's nothing hard, uh, I didn't go still to this part right here, because I need to do all the masts, but if you can see right here, between the block and the rope, I give one more rope around it, and all of the blocks, dead eyes, everything, I did the same, even right here, in the front, right here i did the same why well it's give more uh, details first of all this is right thing to do you can see here i also give the rope around it i because a lot of people just take the block go around with uh, the rope give glue and then just twist it and that's it well it it works but uh, in this way gives much more detail this one there is double one I just um, put them from both sides go around the bowsprit 
I give the rope here to secure it so it will go both sides and then give more rope next to the blocks well I think it looks nice it looks uh, more authentic and awesome uh, this part right here pay attention because you're going to need to drill it with the angle so it will have the form the straight form like this because if not the pieces will be this piece right here that uh, join these two parts of the wood will be just like this well not like this but uh, basically like this uh, so you need to drill the hole a little bit on the angles then just send it down you can see the endings when you put a little bit of the glue and then you send it down all of this doesn't want to all of these endings right here after the sanding well they look old and nice then just paint paint them on the top it's really not big deal now let's move because she's already tall I have the full length uh, my tip for you don't do all of the must do them by pieces right do the first stage then do another one then the last one now I'll explain you why because it's going to be much much more easier the way I will show you uh, if because if you will do it completely it will be much more harder to work with the rigging right here in this spot but if you will do it like this you have here space to work with it to work with the ropes to work with the shrouds so our next step is the shrouds where the must guys really you have the plans you're just following the plans there is not much to do just pay attention to the blocks what blocks are you putting the single block or double block uh, the way they will be uh, just pay attention to these details so this one shrouds are already done and they are ready to be installed on the mast but i will show you now how i'm going to do it how i did it and so guys i come up with solution how to prepare the shrouds i already have all of them so i will not do again the shroud but i will show you how i do this so i have here a clamp right then i took eight millimeter piece of wood i put it like this you can i hope you can do something like this in home uh, if you don't have holes like i do because probably you don't uh, i believe you can come up with some solution or you have that fancy uh, i don't know how it's called with helpers with those clippers uh, it will be very useful so i take the eight, eight millimeter piece of wood i go with rope around it then i secure it with uh, clamp then right here I just go around with the white rope I just go around and then when I took it off I just have shroud already ready to be installed and I will show you how I install them all in the ship so now guys if you can see uh, for rigging of the mast the shrouds we have uh, five right here in the bottom we have five dead eyes that we're going to attach shrouds to it uh, the first pair comes uh, just a simple knock around the mast and then go to the both sides the second one I will show you right now why I'm telling you not to do all the must not to build all the must because if you're going to put it already have 
full must. It will be for me, I'm speaking about me. It will be not comfortable at all to work with the shrouds because you're going to need to do uh, beneath the platform. You're going to need to do uh, that thing with the rope around it. Well, it's going to be very, very complicated. The easiest way for me, prepare already the shrouds. Then I just go beneath it, put in the position. And that's it guys. And now we can go to the bottom and attach them to the dead eyes. It's really, really easy. But don't forget, you go from one side, you do two dead eyes, then you go to the other side, you do two dead eyes. Uh, and basically this is it, this is very simple. In this way, it's very simple because right now, you have right here, already ropes to be attached to the dead eyes. Uh, to do this rigging, you have the video of Polaris. I do all of that rigging stuff. It's very easy, pretty simple. I explained to you how to do the first shrouds. And now we go and speak a little bit about, I think this is pretty clear how to do it. Very easy. And then, not then. Now we will speak with you about the music mask because I already did it fully, completely and let's talk about it the hardest part right now for me was to put the camera so it will focus on the mizzen mast so guys when you finish with this part right here when you have all of the shrouds you do all the red lines uh, red lines you also can watch in the polaris video uh, it's pretty simple very easy don't use the glue uh, well it's fast really then you're going to attach another dead eyes, the smaller ones. Now, right here, you're going to do just like it's in instructions. You take the dead eye, you go around with the rope, you give a little bit of glue, you twist it, then you put it right through the hole and you're going to attach them right here. I will try right now, focus on this piece. You will put it right here on this shroud and then attach them with another rope. You uh, attach them, the rope go beneath, you attach them to the last red line that you have on your shroud. And then you go with the rope around. Then the same way as we have here, we go on the top. That's why again, this part right here, this one, the last one, you don't put, you first do the shroud that goes down. Then you put the last one, the last one is very easy. You give a knock in the top, you go through the holes right here, and then again to the shroud and with the rope around. Guys, pay attention to all of the blocks that you are attaching, so don't do any mistakes. And just follow when you're going to build the when you're going to build the mast. Just pay attention to the instructions, to the measurements, and it will be everything very easy for you. I really, really believe in that. So, guys, basically, this is it. This is what I have done up until now. She looks like this she's pretty tall girl uh the weathering of the must is the same just white and black paint right send it down use a little bit of stain well and it does look pretty awesome uh basically guys this is how i can explain you how i can show you what i did how i did and i will just continue my work then i will do the standing rigging except the backstays those three ones because they're going to be 
on my way to do the rigging. Then we're going to paint the sails and starting to work with the yards. Uh, guys, I hope this video uh, give you some information useful uh, about the Essex. If you have some questions, I post a lot of photos, better photos than the video in the Instagram. Just follow me. Uh, I post in, in, in Facebook as well. If you have some questions, you can always, always text me. There is no problem at all in that. And I will always respond to you and always help you if you will need me. If you have some different ideas, share it with me. I would like to hear them. And this is it for this video. It was a little bit awkward to film it because, well, I didn't do filming for four months. And I think up until now, she does look pretty awesome. I'm really happy with the result. And uh, the things that I change, I also am pretty happy. So guys, this was Home Harbor. My attempt to return on YouTube. So I am hope you liked the video. You took some ideas. It helped you with the rigging. By the way, don't forget to watch the rigging of the dead eyes and shrouds and red lines on Polaris. Uh, I show it very closely how I do it. Also, I have one quick reel in Instagram how I do the red lines. You can check it out. So, guys, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I hope you're not disappointed with this video. And the next video is going to be basically the slideshow with some talking. So guys, I see you next time and thank you very much for your attention.